Good morning, welcome back to my channel. My name is Julie and if you're new here, I am on a weight loss journey, currently calorie counting. And I've been doing this this time around since the 9th of January, I think it was. And if you're existing, thank you so much for coming back and supporting me. It is much appreciated. Um, so yeah, this is my weigh-in video um, and just a general check-in about life and all the rest of it. Let me just see if I can plonk you somewhere because I'm currently holding this sort of like it's not a tripod it's like a stick and it's not very easy to hold when you've been exercising okay i think that's all right so how have things gone this last couple of weeks well i started off the couple of weeks quite positive i had no plans for anything that would affect my weight loss also i thought decided i wanted to have a bit of a boost so i decided to lower my calories just by 100 calories a day and boy was that a mistake <laughs> i should have left them as they were for some reason, even though it's just 100 calories and I was still on a generous amount compared to what a lot of people are on, it really messed with my head. It really, really messed with my head. I felt like I was going to run out of calories constantly and it really affected how I planned my day, what I was eating. It really did have a knock-on effect. I also found that I didn't have as much energy when I was trying to work out, which is ridiculous because it wasn't that much lower than normal. and. It, everything just kind of spiralled. Work was particularly horrendous the last couple of weeks. I've had a lot of stress for various reasons. And then I've had a bit of stress in my personal life and all of it just piled together and I just kind of went into a bit of a mental funk and probably was at my lowest, I'd say on Friday. So I gave blood Thursday night and on Friday I had, I mean at Thursday when I look back at my vlog when I was editing it, um, I'd got zero energy, I had a low energy day, I didn't work out, had a low energy day, and then I gave blood. And I was borderline for giving blood. Then I didn't eat my tea because I bought fish and chips and it was horrible. So Friday I got up and I felt shocking. And I think it was a mixture of low iron, not enough food, um, work stress, just everything all combined. And I was in a real, I'd say the worst way I'd been for a while. I wasn't seeing anything very positively. Um, didn't do my way in because I was just like what's the point I felt awful and mentally didn't want the stress of seeing a gain or anything else on the scales I just didn't want it yesterday I felt slightly better I went out and I did have to work on Saturday which isn't ideal but I did have to get some work done and then I went out wall shopping which obviously for me is like <laughs> that's my thing that's my go-to thing at the moment so I went out and bought some wool and started to feel a bit better about, about things. Um, today I've got up and I've managed to get two workouts done. I did a, I did my 30 minute sort of like, I think it's push today, my four weeks for everyone workout. And I did 30 minutes on the bike. Now it wasn't easy. I can tell I've still got low iron. I can tell, tell I still haven't produced the iron that I've lost through giving blood. My boss used to say it took him two weeks to recover and I think I don't think it'll take me two weeks, but I think because I'd already got low iron, I was definitely feeling it. And I managed the workout and I really enjoyed the workout, but I can say it felt hard. But it's done and I feel so much more positive. I need to make sure I keep up with my exercise, no matter how much work is throwing at me. I need to make sure I keep it in there because it really helps me mentally. Helps me mentally to de-stress, but also helps me focus on, on my health, which is why I'm doing this. So... I'll get to my weight straight away, just so that if you're not interested in the rest of my ramblings, you can switch off now. Um, basically, I stepped on the scales and I'll put a screenshot of my scales and the Renfo app on screen now. And um, yeah, in fact, I'll do it for a bit longer so you can actually see it properly. Now, I don't count the last digit. To me, this week is a maintain. I think last week I weighed in at 12 stone 7.8, and this week I weighed in at 12, not this week, it's two weeks ago, 12 stone 7.4, which I'm actually pleased with because I actually thought I was facing a gain. I felt like the last few days I haven't tracked properly. I felt like this week I've had more bread because I've been having bagels nearly every day, and I just got myself into a real funk. So rather than having this big loss that I was really hoping for, I actually thought I was facing a gain. So I'm glad I stepped on the scales and I'm glad I've got it over and done with. I do feel quite positive. I'm also aware now that it's what, August the 11th? Oh, the 11th. September, October. So it's three months exactly to my birthday. So if I want to be in the 11th for my birthday, I need to get my backside into gear. So I've only got, 
if I lose eight pounds, I will be in the next stone bracket. So I need to do that and I need to get on with it. I don't care how quickly I do it now. I, I want to see a boost on the scales, but at the same time, I don't want to feel like how I've done the last two weeks. I'd rather see it come off slowly. Um, on the workout I was doing today, Autumn was saying, you know, these things, you're not making this change for a quick fix. This is a lifetime thing. It doesn't matter how long it takes you to get there. And this is true. This is true about my journey. It doesn't matter how quickly I get there. I would like to see like the 11 on the scales by my birthday, but does it matter really? Probably not. The one thing I will say is when I've looked in photos of Tom's graduation and video footage of me recently, I'm holding a lot of weight in my stomach, so I would like to try and work on that. Um, my running, I want to get back to my running. I've started two runs, I don't know if it was last week or the week before. Last week I didn't get out at all. So this week I'm gonna try and get out for a run because uh, I think that helps to lean you off a little bit. At least I need to try and up my walking again, one or the other. And um, I need to look at foods that help you to loot, like burn belly fat and try and sort of get rid of some of that belly fat. I also think that this chin, I don't know what's going on with my neck, but I noticed on a few videos I've got like a really old looking neck, but also quite a lot of fat here and I didn't like it. So I need to look for some exercise. I sat like pulling faces trying to like exercise. I suppose it's just getting old. But anyway, next two weeks, I'm going to put my calories back to what they were. I'm going back to 1847 per day. Whether anyone thinks that's right or wrong, I don't care. <laughs> it's my journey. I am going to try and get back to doing an hour's exercise a day, whether that's the a half an hour strength and a half an hour peloton, or whether it's a run and half an hour yoga, whatever it is, I'm going to try and get more movement in. Well, it's got to be a minimum of 30 minutes, but probably ideally an hour just to justify the extra calories. I also would like to try and meal prep a little bit and plan. I would like to have um, perhaps, you know, sort of like chicken and rice and things that are nutritious for my lunch, trying up my protein. So I'm gonna try and go to the shops today and get some food because I've not got HelloFresh coming this week. So I might try and do that. And overall not put pressure on myself because uh, I think this week at work should get easier, but I think the start of the week might be a bit tricky. And then hopefully after that, it might get a bit easier. But yeah, that's the end of the video. Um, let me know how you're getting on. Obviously, this is one of those journeys and I still haven't had an actual gain this year yet. So I'm, I consider that to be a big victory and a big win for me. But at the same time, I um, it's been tough. This last couple of weeks have been tough. But I feel back motivated, back on it. Let me know how you're getting on with your journeys, whether you're still you know, trying the same thing you were doing before, whether you've tried something new, whether you just generally what you're doing and how life's going for you and um, I'd love to have a chat with you in the comments so just let me know anything you want to really it's fine um, I keep promising that I'm going to do a live and I still haven't done that and that's mainly because of the whole work pressure thing and I wasn't in the right headspace but hopefully I'll plan that in for soon um, I'll probably put it on my community page just to let you know when I'm going to be doing it but um, I wasn't going to put any pressure on myself so yeah, thank you so much for watching and I shall see you in two weeks for another weigh-in or I will be back here. I'll probably upload actually later on today my other vlog because I don't like to leave it too long. I might put it on tomorrow. This will be the foods I ate up to the, I think it's the 8th of August and today's the 11th. So you've still got a couple of days of this week before we start the new week. I'm really kicking myself I didn't do vloggers, but I know I wouldn't have had the time to do it. I might try and do a week of, of daily vlogs in August. I might do, I saw one of the knitting podcasters did summer vlogs and just did like a week and I might do that. We shall see. Anyway, thanks so much for watching and uh, if you haven't subscribed, if you could, it's wonderful. I'm on my way to 1500 subscribers and I would really like to try and get there by the end of this year if I possibly can. And if you've liked the video, pop a like on it and put notifications on because I do upload very irregular. I am hoping to sort my schedule out at some point soon. I keep saying it, but I am hoping to. And I shall see you very soon for another video. Take care, bye.